Hi everyone, my name is Julia. I'm a member of the Kitchen Rebel editor team. Next to me is Björn Perkin. He is the Vice President Culinary Excellence of Rational. Before joining Rational, he was responsible for food development at McDonald's Germany. Björn and I will talk about the concept of flagship restaurants today. So let's not waste any time mm -hmm. and just start right away for, with the first question. So Björn, what do you think? Is the pure taste of food still the main focus for customers when they are visiting a restaurant today? Um, from a chef point of view, hopefully it is. And food should always be the hero of every restaurant. Um, but as a customer, I would say it's, it's all about the experience. It's all about restaurant experience. And uh, that means that from entering a restaurant area or the restaurant uh, themselves, it's all about the environment. It's all about, is there a host? welcoming you, seating you, and I think all this makes uh, um, a restaurant experience quite successful. And I think that should be the focus from everyone who's operating restaurants or food places. So yeah. you have to understand what, what is the um, expectation and you have to fulfill. What should restaurants or restaurant chains offer their customers in order to remain competitive in the long run? You have to listen to your customers. You have to understand the target groups. You have to know what is the food, what they want to have. Um, and actually it is so easy to understand your target groups or your customers because um, everything is digital. So everyone posts his favorite dishes, his favorite colors and everything. So um, in best case, they're posting this in your restaurant. They post that they like your food and uh, you're linked to this. So from my perspective, it's, it's, it's really have your target group and your, your customers in mind and in focus. So that's important. Many companies use flagship restaurants as a showcase and marketing measure. What criteria do you think should such a flagship restaurant meet? Don't lose the heritage. So I think, uh, first of all, um, be the brand you are, but be creative and new. And people have to understand what they are. So if you're entering, a, I don't know, Starbucks flagship store, you have to know that you're in a Starbucks and, and you know what you got and know what you get. So in the end, um, that's for me the biggest thing that, that whenever you create a new flagship restaurant, it should be a good mix of uh, the old stuff, so the core menu and the new stuff in combination of that, that people have a good experience. Yeah. And what does the perfect experience look like when you're visiting a flagship restaurant? It's a little bit what I mentioned before. So hopefully um, I'm totally inspired by, by all this new stuff, but um, from, a, from a business perspective, everyone should be inspired when, when, when they're visiting a flagship restaurant. So um, I think a normal customer is just getting this new stuff. Hopefully it is something what you never had before in your life. So, or it's food from across the globe. So what a lot of companies doing is bringing the offer from US to Germany, from Germany to Canada and across the globe. So this is the easiest way. And I think this is something what, what a flagship store should do. How important is the Instagram ability of a restaurant? How should this trend uh, be followed? Yeah, definitely you should follow because Instagram is, is, is such a big thing. So there are more than 1 billion active user a month. So, and this is, this is huge. Um, and I think it's a little bit different in, in, in the country. So I think Germany is not that much big like, for example, US uh, uh, with the amount of Instagram users. Uh, as a company, as a restaurant, you, you need a, an Instagram account. So like mm -hmm. what we have with, with uh, Kitchen Rebel as well. So um, <laughs> what I'm struggling is that people just go in, in a restaurant and have the, the whole time it's, it's, it's the mobile phone. So everything is pictured, find the right angle to do the picture of your food, uh, doing pictures from you, doing some selfies, I don't know. So I think hopefully it will always be in parallel that, that the food and the time with the people is at focus, having a good time and, and enjoying this with your friends or whatever you are. Um, but it is important, definitely. And uh, I think um, every company who is, is, is not visible in Instagram, I think that's the biggest mistake. 
Do you know what the most uh, shared food items are at Instagram? The most? No. It's, uh, it's pizza. And Maybe I think burger? It's sushi and uh, no, and uh, I think it's chicken, yeah. Chicken? Yeah. So this three food it, items are the most... An Instagrammable chicken. An Instagrammable chicken, yeah. So let's turn into the last question. Ordering on the touch screen, paying with your smartphone, delivering to a table with a tracking system. Yeah. What do you think will be the next big thing? Yeah, everything what you mentioned is what we did in the past. So that is was the huge, uh, um, yeah, um, experience to to make everything digital. So, what will be next? I don't know. Um, actually, there are some pizza robots bringing pizza by themselves, and Amazon is trying to bring parcels via drone by themselves. So, I don't know. Um, we have already Robo Kitchen, we have Robo Bars where you can order a drink and um, a Robo Arm is mixing it and uh, I don't know, so is this, I think this is cool but in the end uh, I, I personally prefer to talk to the bartender and uh, asking for recommendation or had a good conversation, I don't know, next time we go for lunch and uh, print our food by ourselves, print on demand, yeah, schnitzel or whatever. Thank you very much, Bjorn, for Thank you very much. the very valuable insights <laughs> and your time. Yeah. And by the way, um, on Kitchen Rebel, you can find an article about flagship restaurants, including last year's unveiled flagship restaurant from McDonald's, which is on the Sydney International Airport in Terminal 1. Yep. I'm loving it. Absolutely interesting article. <laughs> yes, it is. Cool. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye.